time to start paper hanging. Now we're going to decorate the room with two different papers, dividing this up with a decorative border paper. Measure the length where the border will be placed, in this case at molding height, and square it around the room with a level. Measure off widths of the wallpaper in order to avoid having to fix a small, narrow piece at one end. If this is the case, start with a narrower cut-down piece of paper, as in this example. Measure the desired distance from the corner and square off with a level. Never assume that the corner of the room is square. Work to your true vertical line. Now measure the length of the piece of paper that will be required. Cut this length from the roll. Always make sure your paste table is clean. Sponge down with clean water. Square off the measured length and cut with scissors. Always allow an extra five or 10 centimeters. Don't cut it to the exact length. Paste the paper, making sure that all the edges are covered. Now, carefully remove the pasted paper from the paste board. Line up the edge of the paper with our vertical line. Smooth the paper over with your damp sponge. Make sure that you remove any creases or bubbles with the sponge. Run the edge of your scissors over the paper so as to mark ready for cutting. Peel the paper away from the wall and carefully cut around the mark. Now finally smooth it back into place with the sponge. Paste up another length of paper in readiness. The pasted edges can be folded together for easy handling. Apply this to the wall, taking care to match up your pattern. Open up the length. Here, we've cut a small hole in the paper to allow for a wall light cable. Check the position of the cable and make a small hole in the paper. Thread the cable through the hole. Smooth down the paper with the damp sponge as before. Continue around the room until the top half of the border paper is complete. Papering below the border is exactly the same. Square down the joint from the paper already hung in the corner of the room. Measure the paper width. Mark this onto the paper. Remember to add a few extra centimeters. Now cut this. Paste the length of the paper and position it up against the wall. Don't forget to match up your pattern. Now smooth down with a damp sponge. Trim to size. Sponge the paper back into the corner. If you find you have to paper around switches or plugs, isolate the main power supply while decorating. Remove the fitting and paper over the hole. When the paper is dried, locate and trim with a pair of scissors. Now it's time to fix up border paper. With a level, draw the line around the room at molding height.
Apply a good quantity of paper adhesive to the border paper. Now fix this to the wall, leveling up with the pencil line. Trim to size. And finally, smooth it down with your sponge. In a